Hello, and welcome to Stammer Run with me, John, a husband and a father who has stammered for over 30 years, who's a self obsessed fanatic of health and fitness. Today, we are going to be looking at videos on stuttering or stammering and giving my views and opinions on this. Now, these are my views, my personal views, and my opinions on them. And I realize videos are there for good. However, I'm going to be giving you views on the videos based upon someone who actually has a stammer and who has been a stammerer for over 30 years. Stammering or stuttering, causes, signs and symptoms, diagnosis and treatment. Stuttering or stam... Okay, now this is where I'm gonna stop uh, the video straight away. So, this already looks to me like these, they've got, um, in terms of images, these have got um, kind of stock images. Now, I can assure you that I've never stood there with my hands around my throat. I mean, this guy looks like he's got the worst sore throat in the history of the world. And I think that his issues lie beyond having um, a stammer. So already that's not exactly a great start. Stammering is a speech disorder that is also known as difficult speech. Stuttering specifically includes the following. One, an un... What the hell is that? I mean, I don't really understand what that's supposed to mean. Is he... I don't know. Is there something wrong with him? Um, again, a stock image that somebody thinks um, that means that that's an uneven rate of speech. To me, that's from the song Wind the Bobbin Up. So I don't know what this is supposed to, to mean, really. Even rate of speech. Two, halted or interrupted speech production. And three, repeated. So again, so halted or interrupted speech production and repeated words. I don't understand what the image is. There's a, just a random guy standing there on podium talking to people what, what what is that what what is that um you know the 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 messaging is fine but the image just feels like somebody's just thrown this together without any real without any real thought behind it words syllables and sounds stuttering is a highly common phenomenon affecting between five to ten percent of all children it mostly occurs in children be a phenomenon. Um, I don't really know um, what to really say about that. So, 81 million people have a stammer. Um, so, a phenomenon to me um, isn't um, a having um, a stammer. In some respects, it is a natural um, thing to have a stammer, which I think it will say about um, kids you, who, who, who do have um, a stammer, where they're um, speaking from an, kind of an early age. Um, but for it to be a phenomenon, um, I don't think, I don't think that's the right thing to say. Between two and six years of age. While most children will not carry a stutter beyond childhood, 25% of children who don't lose their stutter will be affected by it as adults. Intervening early can help a child stop. So 25% of children who don't lose uh, their stammer will be affected um, as they get older. I'd love to know where they got their stats from. Um, there is no stats here. There's nothing to say where they've got stats from. So the problem with uh, these videos where they do not um, show where they got their stats from, I take that with a pinch of salt. So I would like to see where they actually got their stats from. Stammering and nullify all chances of them carrying it into adulthood. Let's take a deep... Again, another random stock image here of a child playing with a car and another child with um, a bear. And uh, to nullify all of uh, the chances of them carrying it in uh, childhood, I, I, I'm not really sure about uh, the wording 
um, here. Um, you know, I think children can stammer because they try to speak and you can't nullify that. I mean, if, if you can, you can help them, but uh, to nullify it, I think is definitely the wrong, the wrong um, words here. I think you can try to help and assist them, but uh, to nullify it, I think is just, just definitely the wrong, the wrong wording. Deeper look into stuttering. Causes. The most common causes of yeah, stuttering or stammering include it? one, family dynamics, two, neurophysiology, three, issues in development. So the, it's true that family um, hereditary is, it is linked to if you have a family member who has a stammer, then that's one of the thoughts behind that could cause a stammer. But again, at this point, this is trying to say that these are the causes. Nobody actually knows, really. They've got an idea, but nobody actually knows. They're just trying to give names to them. So these are still up in the air. So don't take these as, 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 as fact, because they still don't actually know what causes you to, uh, to stammer. During childhood. Four, a family history of stuttering. Furthermore, injuries and trauma can also. Now, the image here of a little girl in a, uh, a wheelchair, what? I, I just do not know what that is um, about. I'm sorry, that's just, that's just, that's just dumb. Now, trauma and injuries can lead to having um, a stammer, but this is slightly different, I think. Uh, you can tell me what you think where. Yes, of course, injury to the brain or a trauma can cause, and, and I'm talking about trauma in terms of having an injury here. Um, I think that's something slightly different from being born with um, a stammer. You know. Anyone that has a speech um, issue, of course, you know, that there are, you know, one isn't worse than the other, but I think there should be a separation here between a stammer in terms of what we're talking about being born with one or if you have an accident and, you're, and you have an injury. I just don't think the two are the same. The result in stuttering. Sustaining an injury to the brain from a stroke can cause stuttering. Similarly, severe emotional trauma. Again, um, so uh, domestic abuse seems to be uh, the video here. I think this is really irresponsible and I think something else could have been used here. I think this is a really silly stock image to use. Um, I, I I agree with what they're trying to say here. I think um, the trauma, from an emotional perspective, I think can cause you to um, develop um, a stammer, but I disagree with the image. Uh, can also cause stuttering. Stuttering is believed to run in families as the part of the brain that governs speech and language may be abnormally developed across generations. Children now, of parents... Parents who have a stammer, their children usually stammer as well. Now, that indicates that they would stammer more often than not. I have three kids, not one of them stammer. And they all speak perfectly well, um, and none of them have a stammer. So I'm not going to say I dispute that because I do think that if you have it in the family, but to say that more often than not they do, I think is an interesting statement to make. Um, I, I don't necessarily disagree or agree, but from my perspective, I have three children and none of them have a stammer. Parents who have stuttered usually stutter as well. Signs, Signs and, and symptoms. And, uh, symptoms. Symptoms. I hate that word in terms of having a stammer. I'm not unwell. I am not ill. I do not have a symptom. Um, there are indicators, I think, but to say that it's a 
symptom I just think is I just do not agree with um, that wording at all. Three different types of stuttering can affect a person. Developmental stuttering occurs when a child is developing their speech. Their mouth may take time to build up their language abilities. The development type goes away without treatment. Neurogenic stuttering occurs when there are abnormalities between the brain So the So they're trying to say that it is, um, it is abnormal. Um, again, I don't disagree with, or well, I can't disagree with what they're saying here because nobody knows, but abnormal, again, I don't like that word because you're not abnormal um, if you have a stammer or you have a speech issue. I just think that the wording needs to be different. Signals and the nerves or muscles of the body. Psychogenic stuttering originates from the brain, specifically the part that regulates speech and learning. The symptoms across all these types of Symptoms across the board are the same. I just, I'm include. sorry, just do not agree. Right. Frustration, Frustration is not to a symptom. And again, there's an image of a guy just shouting and pointing at somebody. That's not how I handle my frustration when I communicate. Yes, it can be uh, frustrating, but I certainly don't take it out on other people. Two, occasional refusal to speak. Occasional refusal to speak. Um, yes, I think in some circumstances um, I've avoided, but occasional refusal to speak. I mean, as a statement, that's a stupid statement because the last thing you want to do when your stammer is quite bad is speak. So it's all the time you don't want to speak. And it doesn't just happen like here and there. I mean, now, you know, Fluency for me is up, so I don't mind speaking, but in terms of occasional speaking, I mean, that's, that's just very, very clumsy. And again, I don't understand the image um, on here. Three, noticeable physical changes in the face, such as facial tics. Again, it's another stupid stock, like, picture of somebody who's holding the head like the head's about to explode. Um, facial tics, I mean, yeah, I, I do agree with some of it in terms of like, you know, the, the way you can talk your face at times to get the words out, but calling it a facial tick, um, I disagree with that. And obviously, if you're trying to get your words out, your face will change because your face will change irrespective because when you speak, you're trying to get your words out, right? Um, but to say things like a facial tick, I just think it's, I'm sorry, I think it's crap. Extensive eye blinking, lip videos ridiculous. and increased Stupid. tension in the upper face area. Four, pausing. Now, again, uh, the video that's depicting a man pointing at a child who's upset pausing or hesitation when starting to speak. I do not understand what the video image is of. And yes, you do pause and you do um, hesitate when you speak, but a lot of people pause and, and hesitate to speak. Um, how is that a symptom? I, 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 don't, I don't understand or hesitation when starting to speak. Five, interjections or extra sound. Again, another stock image of a man who's, of, of a man. And again, the one thing um, I've noticed in all these, it's always the man who's angry. Um, it always seems like the man is, 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 is angry towards um, a female. Um, and why is it always depicted that it's a man um, here and is very, very angry? So I don't really understand what the interjectional extra sounds when speaking has to do with uh, the video that they're playing of this really angry man, quite a big angry man, um, over speaking um, a lady. I, again, 
What a really stupid image. I'm sorry. Sounds while speaking. Six, a tense voice. Seven, rearranging words while speaking. Eight. Now, again, I kind of do um, this again. The choice of uh, the video is obviously this was put together by some sort of AI clumsily. Um, a tense voice, yeah, but people do have a tense voice. Um, you rearrange your words when you speak, yes, of course. Um, I do that. I tend to change words, but again, so do people. Um, you stretch out words with longer sounds, yeah. You know, I don't disagree, and repetition whilst you speak, yes, but people do that as well. So I don't really understand. Yes, this is true, but this is not specific to somebody that has um, a stammer. So I'd be interested to see what specific things, well, they clearly don't know what specific things a person who has a stammer will do because they've not put it there. So the things that I do is, you know, yes, I will change words. However, you know, I'll do things like I will tap my foot to try to get myself kind of up to the pace of uh, the speaking pace. No, I will pause, but you know, th th this is this is just um, this is just not very good. Stretching outwards with longer sounds. Nine, repetition while speaking. Often, children are not aware that they are stuttering and may get used to how they speak. Diagnosis. There is no invasive test to diagnose stuttering. Why would you need an invasive test? Well, what, why are they going to stick things inside my body to figure out if I have a stammer or not? Interesting. The diagnosis can be made by speech language pathologists. A diagnosis. I'm sorry, but you either have a stammer or you don't. And yes, okay, fine. You know, you 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 may think you have um, a stammer, and you don't but you either stammer or you don't like you, you know you do again i just think the word in here is very 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 clumsy based on the symptoms exhibited by a person treatment most stuttering does not require treatment as children grow past the developmental stage treatment so again i just think you need to be more specific here because you need to be careful how you manage i would probably like to use the word uh to manage here because if a child has a stammer a young child chances are the more they will do because they're learning to speak um but you 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 manage it by encouragement by being um, a positive you know and then if they do not grow out of it um, then it's how you support them um, and manage it. So it's got nothing to do with you. Don't you can't treat it. it. It's not an illness. So the words that they use, like a symptom, I just think is just not. It's just not good, and it's it is it is not an illness. And stop stuttering with time. Speech therapy is the most common treatment for other kinds of stuttering. Speech. Another stock image here but probably the most uh the relevant one i've seen it's still not the best but at least it's kind of in tune with what it is they're trying to say speech therapy yes i think does um does work i've never had it i know people that have um and they say that it does work so yeah therapy can help with intonation and also reduce interruptions while speaking it gives a person the push they need to stop stuttering. It helps increase self-esteem. Now, I don't really understand why, what this has got to do with the underlying um, text. So to be fair, and this is not meant in a bad way, but it looks like the woman has cancer. Um, she's got a scarf on her head. Um, I don't understand what the image is um and it gives the person the push they need to to stop having um um a stammer do you think people need a push to stop stammering do you not think that people would just stop um you know 
it's not like I'm like, oh, you know, I can't be bothered. You know, today I'm just going to stammer because I can't be bothered to stop. I don't need a push to stop stammering. I'd love just to be able just to my whole life, the wasted years to stop stammering. So I don't need a push to stop stammering. I just wish I could just stop. And yes, you know, I think therapy can help with self-esteem, but I also think supporting a person with um, a stammer and just telling them that it's okay and letting them know their whole life that it's okay can boost their self-esteem. It doesn't really matter if you have therapy, if you are out and about and you stammer, it, it can help, but self-esteem wise, it depends on person to person. But a push to stop stammering and helps with pronunciation and enunciation. Beyond speech therapy, electronic devices such as voice recorders and hearing aids can also help. Is this guy blind? Like, why is he wearing uh, his sunglasses indoors? I mean, I do, I do agree though, that recording your voice, particularly if you don't know how you sound and you have a stammer and you want to understand how or how, from your perspective, how much you stammer. It is really interesting to hear it because sometimes you think you stammer more than you do because you are overcompensated. So you think every single word is a stammer when actually sometimes it's not and you can be more, flu more fluent than you think. But I don't understand the image. Is this guy just blind? What's that got to do with having a stammer because he's sticking some, some, uh, some headphones in? The former helps repeat what has been said and learn where the mistakes lie, while hearing aids can help reduce background noise and increase focus. Beyond this, no... Um, I mean, the image in this one, yeah, okay, fine. Um, still not the best, but, um, you know, I guess you can just sit there in quite... I mean, he hearing aids... Um, why would I need a hearing aid? No specific medication is known to help with stutter. Well, um, I don't really know what, what to say. So for me, that, so for me, that is a, somebody who is wanted to create something and they've used AI to do it, or they basically just trying to create something. Um, I think the video is um, clumsy at best. Uh, the the imagery on the video, I think some of it is disgusting, to be honest with you. You know, depicting um, men being angry, um, and a lot of it looks like domestic abuse to me. I think the video is really clumsy. I just think it's a made, not for shock value, but it's made, um, you know, without any any care. And these are the videos for me that are uh, the dangerous ones because they don't accurately depict anything. There are bits of truth in there and there are bits of stuff, but they are just really small bits. And I just think it's irresponsible um, to make a video like that um, using the imagery that it that it does. So that's been me reacting to a video on stuttering. This one has been particularly bad. Um, I'd love to know your comments if you have a stammer and what you think on the video. And on that note, please don't forget to turn on your notifications to when we post a new video. Please don't forget to like, favorite and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.